In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the settings for VoiceThread. And this is really essential that you know how to do this because depending on the type of assignment that you want to have in VoiceThread and how much you want to lock down, how much students can get lost, this can be really helpful for you. And so I'm going to go over some of that. Let's start by clicking the VoiceThread link as I just did, launching that application again. Once you've already created one and you're not doing options as you go, you would go to this hamburger or pancake next to the name of the voice thread. And then you would go down to edit. So you're editing it and its options. And then there's two ways to get to options. You can click edit here and that'll bring you up to playback options there. Or you can go to options over here and there's playback settings there. So there's two ways. But that gives us all the playback options. And I know it seems like a lot and I'm going to go through each one of them. We'll start with the left side. One that's really important that I think should be on for everything is to enable threaded comments and commenting. If you don't do this, all that a student can put up is a, a main comment. That becomes really problematic if you want them to actually reply to each other because they can't create threaded replies. So for instance, if you have 15 students who have already created a comment and someone wants to reply to the first person, if all they create is a comment, not a threaded reply, it'll go to the very end of the voice thread. And so there's no clear link between the two. So you want to go ahead and enable that. And then also make sure that you have a how-to job aid for your students on the difference between a comment and a threaded reply. So you get the actual good structure to your replies. You can also allow them to create and add slides. If I am creating just a discussion thread and I only have one slide, usually on that on purpose because I want them it to be contained in that one thread, I turn this off. Now if you are wanting them to share images and that's part of the discussion, you would turn this on because then they can create their own slides and like, oh look, this is an image of what we're talking about or this is media related to what we're talking about. You would want that on. And then I usually turn the next few off that they can download original media. I'm sure that there is a time when there might be a use for that, but I have not quite found it yet in the types of teaching that I do. I don't allow others to export that. That's really a matter of choice in some ways, but I want to keep that voice thread private. And so I don't turn this on. Start playing when opened is really down to your own personal preference. I used to have this on, but I found that every time I popped into a voice thread, it was me first talking and I got annoyed with myself. And so I would think that other people would probably find that annoying that they're just popping in back into the voice thread to reply to someone. They don't need to have the same first person hearing them over and over again. But if, for instance, that the start of it is some classical music or rock music or whatever type of music you want, rap, and you want that to start playing when opened, then maybe that's something that you turn on and there's a good reason. I don't allow others to make a copy. Maybe you would want to. There's another option to enable comment moderation. Basically what this means is students will post, but you moderate whether that actually goes live to everybody else. Again, that's completely down to you. I don't tend to have this as an option because it, it creates work, but if you're talking about something really divisive or there's a reason for it, that option is is here for you. Some of these other ones, this automatically advanced to the next slide after four seconds. This really is move through slides at a, a certain pace. If you want to make it so people can't delete their own comments, I do not do this. Others really like this option. It's completely down to preference. If you want to limit how long they can create a comment, you absolutely can do that. So if, for instance, you have a very set limit on their main initial posts. Some people do. They can create it this way. And then these next two or this these bottom ones really go back to automatically advancing. And then the other area is to allow comment methods. And this is one that it's worth thinking about how you want to approach this. In my view, the reason I use VoiceThread is because I want a video audio option, something that gives that more presence my own presence, student presence. And so I tend to disable text and text is them being able to just type in a reply. But I have turned it on in certain context as well. And some people would have that on all the time. And I usually just have that they can use their microphone, webcam, 
Telephone is really important to have on, I think, especially for access issues when we think about students not necessarily always having access in that moment to a microphone and webcam, but they do have access to their phone. And so you can have it so it's calling them. And then, of course, file upload. I always leave those on, but sometimes I have text on, sometimes I have text off. And then once you're done, this is a really, really helpful option here is to save as default. And this is my default. I, that's what I tend to run with because I mainly run voice thread for discussions, but I would have different settings, for instance, if I was running this and having a student create a voice thread, which we'll, I'll go over in a different video on how to create those. And so I like to go ahead and save as default what I would use it for most of the time. And your settings might be different if you, for instance, use it mostly for student presentations. And then you can go ahead and save. And then that'll apply it to this one. And the default settings will apply it to each new voice thread that you create are going to be that automatic setting. So those default settings. And again, when we go back to playback settings, I think the absolute essential one to go in and enable threaded commenting and then go ahead and save that as default. You will thank yourself later if you do that. Because I think it's just no matter what assignment that has commenting, that's so crucial to it. And it's not a default option when you first go into your voice thread. And that is an overview of the types of playback settings that are really useful and helpful to you depending on what type that you use. And it's really worth thinking about what's the main style that you're going to use VoiceThread in. But you can always change those defaults at any time.